going to be a great set of fights. It's Super Friday. I can't wait to get the action started. Here we go to the date of the tape. Kuldeep Second from the Warriors takes on Triple One Isar from the Tamil Virans. Triple One makes his debut here tonight. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, Isar Karate. He weighs in at 61 kilograms, representing the Central Warriors. It's Kuldeep Second. As his opponent fighting on the red corner, his style mixed martial arts. He weighs in at 61 kilograms, representing the Tamil Vera. It's Green Bowman in time! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the referee for the fight, right card. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, fight number one in this stacked card. My name is Arjun Chipakati. I'm John, uh, joined by Nick Jones. Nick, we've had a great season so far. We finished one week in the fights. We're just about to start second season. We've got Super Friday, Warriors versus the Virans, and what a card from top to bottom. This card might be the most stacked as far as matchups are concerned we've seen to this point, which is saying something, because we've had some incredible action. You know what, 18 finishes in all the fights. Can we start off this weekend with a bang again? We're about to find out as we step into the bandweight division. Kuldeep Sekhon in the red trunks. Krishan Rabat, sorry, Triple One Isar in the yellow and blue. Isar fakes in, just kind of see what kind of reaction he's going to get out of his opponent. Bit of a feeling out process, which is pretty normal at this point. We'll see which fighter strikes first. Both fighters taking their time. It shows a serious sense of respect for one another's skills. Kuldeep, a veteran, has fought in the Super Fight League plenty times before. Won some, lost some, but that's what makes him a warrior inside that cage. No doubt. He's going to be looking to put some of that experience to work here tonight. Nice chopping outside leg kick. First strike that lands. I like how Trevor Van Isar is looking to move, but Kuldeep now head hunting here. Oh! Big, Big shot! Shots. Left and right, landed on their mark. Ish Asir tried to shoot in for a takedown. He did not like the way that felt. We got a knee on the inside, and Isir looks to grab up a leg and potentially get a single leg. That's a smart move by Isar that he tied him up instantly. He knew he was getting tagged, and the fight goes to the ground. And immediately into side control. This is an advantageous position for Isar. Let's see what he can do with it. Right in front of us, you can see his corner shouting out instructions. Kuldeep holding onto that neck, though. If I, I was him, I'd try to use the cage to get back up. He doesn't have position to get that guillotine from here. No, absolutely right, Nick. I was just going to call it because right now he's in side control. That's the worst position. It's You know what? But some guys just have that squeeze. You're right. And we've seen a few of those instances inside the fight league. But it also leaves open a potential arm triangle for your opponent if he can get back around to the other side. But not a lot of room to work with here. So I don't think Shaykhan's in a ton of trouble at this point. And he's now using that to stand up. He needs to get an underhook there. Now this might be dangerous. He's got a standing guillotine. He's putting a crank on that baby. But you know what? He's defending it in the right way. He's trying to put the pressure over his shoulder. shoulder but ah, there you go. Nice defense from Asar to get out of that guillotine. He needs to watch out for those knees that Kuldeep looking to throw up. I like, I like how Isar is staying composed. He's Very. made his debut here tonight. He's taking on a veteran and he's staying calm in there. He it's is, and he took some big shots early on, and he also scores a takedown right now. It looks like he's sliding into, I can't tell if he's in half guard or if he's in full mount. We're trying to get the correct angle on this through our monitor. I think he's in half guard there. He's staying there, he's staying patient. What's more important than that? Making his debut here tonight, he is staying so much more calm. And I would, you know, Kuldi being the veteran that he is, is taking his time, yeah. looking around. He's got a lot of time, two and a half minutes in the opening round. There's no rush. He is being being very tactical, very methodical about this. And again, you're right, with this stage and this spotlight, to have this sort of composure is impressive already. And he's in a somewhat dominant position right here as well. So let's see what kind of work he can get done. Kuldeep is taking his time. He should be looking to pull out his right leg. 
looking for a potential Kimura on this side of Shea Khan, but lets it go, puts his head back around the head. He does not want his arm there. He wants to duck or pummel under for an underhook, He's and that way he'd be able to manipulate his opponent's body and get back up, but he's still doing a good job of using the cage right here. Yeah, now he's got his arm underneath. But he needs to be careful by standing up. Isha might look to land a powerful knee. He chooses to get him right back down to the mat. You can tell that's where Isar is most comfortable. Yeah, he was getting lit up on the feet. He sure was. Off, I don't blame him. What a start to this great bantamweight contest between these two solid teams, Gujarat Warriors and the Tamil Virans. And you know what? If you take a look at the overall score, though, uh, in, on top of uh, on top of uh, Group A, the Shari Punjab team are leading the roost with, all, with that great showing last week. Yeah, they sure are. We had a lot of great showings. Yupi Nabob did a great job as well. Um, Absolutely. Bengaluru Tigers had a difficult test against Teriana and did well. But back to the action. Looking for an arm bar. It's Shea Khan from the bottom, but Asar steps over to the right side of his body. He's good defensive stuff. Very good defense so far. He looks like he almost might have that arm out. There you go. Kuldeep lets it go, and he lands up in his side control. Asar's, Asar's being very patient, very methodical, showing some good defensive stuff and maintaining good position on top. I'm very impressed so far. It is very impressive. He's a young kid who's just transitioned to MMA, but you can show the level of training that has gone in. Absolutely. He's been working really hard to show that kind of situational awareness on the Absolutely. ground. Absolutely. And it looks like he keeps working for that arm triangle on one side, but now he's trying to step over into full mount. He's got uh, it. Did, did you see that? Kulip for a second created a distraction. He lost his mouth guard. Yes, he did. They both, he lost his mouth guard, tried to put it in. Ishar took advantage of that situation gets them out. As you should, if the ref doesn't stop the action, the fight is on, and look, he steps right back over into side control. Good transitions from the saw on top. Some shots to the body. He peppers in him on the head when he gets some openings. He's being very, very patient, very tactical. You can see he's been training very well on the ground as we come to the end of round number one. Great start to this contest. Absolutely. Good job by Isar. And second, let's take a quick look at the highlights of round number one. We'll get to those in a second. Here we go. Yeah, man. Okay, that was the start of the fight where Kuldeep was, man, he was swinging wild punches. He and sure was. I don't think any of those got through clean. They did not, but it was enough for Asar to realize he wanted to get this fight to the mat, which he does right oh, here. Yeah. Got right into side control, and from there he was able to control Shekan for the rest of this round. I mean, again, impressive stuff from Asar, but I think that uh, yeah. Shekan's going to be coming out looking for some aggressive and aggressive striking once this round starts in a second. But getting back to replay, talk us through this, Arjun. Yeah, I was, I was, you know, I was just uh, pointing out earlier that Shekan, even though he got taken down, was threatening a little bit from that position. He threatened off his back. He actually got back to his feet the first time it happened. And Shekan, again, is a tactical fighter. He's going to take a lot for Isar to put him away on the ground that soon. Understood. And he already went for one of his trademark arm bars, yeah. too. you got to be <laughs> careful of those things, buddy. Isar did a great job defending that one. He rolled perfectly. He turned over. He sure did. And yeah, here we go for round two. Round number two. Both fighters back on their feet. This is where Kuldeep Sekhan will seem a little more comfortable. Isar will be looking to close that distance. But you can see this Isar now. Looking to strike with he's, Kuldeep Sekhan. He's telegraphing every single one of those things from a mile away. He's going to have to set him up, and he's going to have to be a lot quicker with all those strikes if he wants him to land. Shoots go. in for a takedown. Yep. Stuffed so far by Sheikhan. So far, good stuff by Sekhan here. But Issa is now looking to grab a single. He's got a hold of it. Kuldeep again after that neck. I don't know. You know that's what I think he, he might not be looking to get an arm underneath, get an underhook, and try to turn him around. Again, he, and he keeps going for that guillotine. He does, in, in, in bad positions as well. But again, Asar into side control. This is a repeat of what we saw in round one. Let's see if Shaykhan has an answer for it this time. He's trying to push off the fence to give himself a little more space, which is wise to do. But Asar again being patient right here, and uh, Shaykhan has no answer for this side mount that he's in. I would think Isar is, uh, is more proficient on the ground at this point. For you sure. can see he's showing far more awareness. There you go, he's got an arm under it. We saw this last week with Angad Bisht. We sure did. The that was nasty. It was nasty and a late stoppage <laughs> to boot. But the mounted crucifix is a bad spot to be in, but fortunately, Shea Khan's found his way out of this. Uh, you got to be aware of that arm bar or other submission attempts from Shea Khan on bottom, though. If he lulls Isar into a false sense of security, he could explode and catch him when he's least expecting it. That's very well said, Nick. That is certainly a point. A lot of fighters use that bait-and-switch technique. Absolutely. They bait him in. 
There you go, mount position, cool, man. effortlessly done. They saw in dominant position. Let's see if he can look in for the arm triangle like I was talking oh, about a little while but ago. But he needs to hop over on his left hand side. He doesn't have a lot of space there. He does not. But as we've seen before, if you're strong enough, you can get the finish. Right here, he's not in position. So he chooses to go back to side control, maintain dominant position. And he gives himself space on this side, which is very wise for him to jump over to that side. But Shaykhan able to get back to full guard defensively. Good job by both these fighters. Certainly an interesting chess battle on the ground. Nick, we spoke about it earlier of how jiu-jitsu is a lot of fans come into the sport and say, oh, you know, armbar or triangle or, right. or choke, but they don't realize the amount of work that goes into that, into preparing, into prepping, into getting past the guard, cutting through it, setting it up, baiting them into that move. There are so many steps, and you have to set up each step along the way. Your opponent's going to sniff it out and stop it. But here goes Shikan for an armbar, and Asar perfectly rolls to the right oh, side look at so this. far. Look at this. He might be looking for that arm there. Good defense so far. He's got to spin around in the other way. Oh, but wait, he tapped. tapped. Wow. wow. Oh, man, he might, you know what? He's, you can see here him grimacing here. Oh, he's fine. You know what? His fighter safety is of the utmost concern. But Kuldeep Sekhan, out of nowhere, pulls out a rabbit. We didn't even see the setup for that armbar. That's the armbar prowess I was talking about before. He can pull this thing out of nowhere. <laughs> and within a millisecond, he had that thing tight and got the tap after he'd been getting worked this entire fight. What yep. a comeback. It was unbelievable because it had to continue the same way. There we go. Let's take a look at the replay there. That was the point where, you know, he was still jockeying for position. There you go. Now that's where he looked like he got that armbar. This is what's so important to this position. Look how deep his elbow is past his oh, pelvis. Oh, yes. He's got his elbow up to his navel. Once you've got that position, oh, you can crank bad. all day long on that baby, and there's no way you're getting out. And I think, and I think Issa realized that he was in a bad spot. He's a tough kid. And you know what, I get even props, he's got a great future in the Super Fight League. No doubt about it. Especially for a debut, the performance oh, we just man. saw. Absolutely. Let's quickly go to the judge for the final decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Rep Ryan for the stop of the fight in the second round in two minutes and 44 seconds. Declaring the winner, submission by the Umbar from the Good Drunk Warriors. The scorecard opens up in favor of the Gujarat Warriors, 5 to 0. Nick, we've seen this a million times. Someone takes the lead, but due to the beauty of the point system,